Imagine an island. An island with deep forests and rich farmlands. With rivers of clear mountain water. An island dotted with pleasant country houses. with some of the best dairy herds outside Switzerland. With some of the best river fishing outside Scotland. some of the best wine growing conditions outside France. An island with a network of uncrowded roads. An island with clean, uncluttered cities. Cities where people know each other well and enjoy doing business. An island with a lifestyle that would be the envy of the rest of the world if the rest of the world knew about it. Imagine an island, Tasmania. Tasmania is not imaginary. It really exists, just 250 kilometers south of the Australian continent. Tasmania is the same distance from the equator as our southern France and central Italy, and it has a climate to match its latitude. Long warm summers and short mild winters with a genuine spring and autumn in between. And even though Tasmania is an island, it isn't hard to get to. Its people and its products are only an hour away from the mainland of Australia by plane. They can fly direct to other Australian cities or to New Zealand and they can connect easily with international flights from Melbourne or Sydney. They can send and receive products on frequent and efficient interstate or international shipping services or if they prefer, they can drive. And Tasmania has a great deal to offer. A rich variety of agricultural products. Its forests produce an abundance of timber and its earth hides a wealth of mineral resources. Many of Tasmania's resources are exported with only basic processing. But more and more, new and established industries are realizing the potential that exists 
in further processing these materials within the state. The Tasmanian government is fully aware that encouraging further local processing of the state's natural resources will benefit Tasmania's economy. Low-cost industrial land is available all around the state, close to decentralised road, rail and seaport facilities. The government has developed a sophisticated network of hydroelectric power stations, using the state's generous and reliable river systems as a self-renewing, clean, pollution-free power source. Morning. How you going, all right? Good, Good day for it. Oh, not much yet. Tasmania's relaxed and pleasant lifestyle may have something to do with the fact that its workforce is stable, efficient and highly productive. This high productivity, coupled with positive industrial relations and a low level of disputation, has made a significant contribution to the growing success of Tasmanian industry. Success enjoyed by many internationally known Tasmanian-based companies. The Tasmanian government, through the Tasmanian Development Authority, is deeply committed to the encouragement of new business and investment. The authority is able to offer a range of incentives to entrepreneurs and prospective investors. These incentives are flexible and can be tailored to the different needs of individuals. All are designed to encourage new industry and investment into Tasmania, particularly industry and investment that makes use of the state's natural resources. But if you decide to invest in Tasmania or establish a business here, government cooperation and incentives are only part of the story. Think of the fringe benefits. Imagine an island the size of Scotland with a population of about half a million people with clean, uncluttered cities and houses within easy reach of the countryside and the sea with no traffic problems for commuters. Imagine an island where healthy outdoor recreation is easily available for everyone. cultural life. Imagine an island with a modern practical education system. An island with an abundance of quality foods. And one of the highest standards of health and health care in the world. Imagine an island with a government that wants you to share all this. Imagine an island, Tasmania.